good morning students today we are going to start the next form of your course and that is the level one top the level one top written by ted hughes in last class i sent you some of the notes in the notes there was a description about the life of ted hughes also and about the form also okay, what is the story of this form first of all i want to tell you what is the meaning of level one actually level one is a short tree which has hanging branches and yellow flowers and white yellow flowers yellow also and they are they have poisonous seeds also poisonous seeds so what is the story of this form in this form we will see that the arrival of someone in a life how can it change a life completely the arrival or departure in a life or from our life of someone how can it affect our life or how can it make our life beautiful we will see in this form so first there are two characters in this story first characters is the symbols which have been taken from the nature they are lebanon top this is a kind of tree short tree which is hanging branches and poisonous seeds yellow flowers second is goldfinch who is goldfinch it is a kind of bird which looks like indian sparrow goldfinch so what does the author what does the poet tell us about the life of lebanon the lebanon top is silent quite still still means silent without any movement in the afternoon yellow september sunlight a few leaves yellowing all its seeds fallen in the very first stanza we can see the poet is telling about the condition of lebanon tree lebanon in the month of september what happens how does the month of september affects lebanon in the month of september all its leaves grow yellow they become yellow and all the seeds also fall down it shows that lebanon is badly affected by the sunlight uh, by the month of september as its old seed all seeds fall down its all leaves also grow yellow the poet is saying that the lebanon is silent the life of lebanon is meaningless lebanon is leading a monotonous life a boring life and what happens in the month of september all the leaves grow yellow and all the seeds fall down it means this line is showing that in the month of autumn okay what happens autumn has great effect or it badly affects lebanon top what happens no second stage till the goldfinch comes with a twitching chirp what is twitching with a chirping twitching chirp chirp means it means and twitching means what is twitch twitch twitching twitching is sudden sudden chirp when goldfinch arrives when goldfinch arrives on lebanon top suddenly unexpectedly with chirping twitching chirp means twitch means jerk with a jerk with a jerk goldfinch comes there and he starts chirping a suddenness suddenly means she comes there suddenly a startlement and give a great startlement a surprise to lebanon which was leading a boring life or monotonous life earlier but after the arrival of goldfinch it gets life and mortality immortality it means new life new meaning of life eat a branch in then sleep as a lizard here in this line the poet is uh, having a comparison of goldfinch with a lizard because they both are sleek sleek means they are very smooth alert they both are alert and abrupt and abrupt means unexpected as we can see here a word is that's why the poetic device is simile s i m i l e what is simile a poetic device where two things or two different things are compared with each other so it can be easily identified with two words they are as or like here goldfinch has been compared with a lizard do you know why because both are sleek both are smooth alert and abrupt it means they come unexpectedly she enters who is he she she means goldfinch after the arrival of goldfinch the real the meaning of goldfinch life is changed completely earlier which was leading a monotonous life gets a new meaning of life and gets a new vitality a new energy she enters the thickness goldfinch enters into the thickness it means into the dense tree and a machine starts up do you know machine because of the chirpings the chirpings of goldfinch has been or have been compared with the machine of chirpings what is chirpings chirpings 
and tremor of wings what is tremor great movement she starts tremor of wings if she starts moving her wings and trillings and trillings is a loud noise a loud noise okay trillings trilling means she starts moving her wings that's why there is tremor there is trembling there is great sound and trilling means fluttering also we can say like moving something heavy she starts moving her wings she starts moving her wings she starts uh, trilling and trembling also it shows that goldfinch comes there with great chirps and she starts moves her moving her wings the whole tree trembles in after the arrival of goldfinch the tree laburnum gets a new life it starts trembling and thrills it means it gets excited dear friends the tree laburnum is thrilled we can see here the whole tree trembles starts trembling and thrills means gets excited that is the example of personification in this line the whole tree trembles and thrills that is the example of personification it is the engine of our family it is the engine of family do you know beta students why does the poet compare laburnum with an engine as we know an engine requires fuel to start up like that the chirpings the twitterings of laburnum uh, goldfinch also give a new life to laburnum that's why and they fill they fill the laburnum tree with their chirpings it looks as if an engine has been started it is the engine of our family it is the engine of our family she stocks it full stock means she fills it full then floats out floats means jumps out to a branch end then moving from one branch to another branch showing her bald face what is bald here having stripes on the face with identity mask students you can be a discussion also what do you mean by bald face your answer will be there are stripes on the face of goldfinch and it looks as if she has put on a mask because of stripes on her face it says one more thing she is stocks showing her bald face in a number of there are number of examples of alliteration also i told you what is alliteration where there is a repetition of consonant sound is known as alliteration second is here we can simile as or like next a personification very special education the tree laburnum gets excited thrills get excited by the after the arrival of goldfinch next is onomatopoeia onomatopoeia what is onomatopoeia the sounding word the words by the sound of those words we can understand the meaning these are called sound words and by the exact sound we can understand the exact meaning of the words here chirpings chitterings twitterings like buzz his these are the words or these are the sound words and that is the pointed device onomatopoeia onomatopoeia means the words or the sound of the word or sounding words which always shows the pointed device what is onomatopoeia it is a kind of figure of speech pointed device where the sound of the word tells exact meaning next here last word happens then with airy airy means surprising or mysterious delicate with soft whistle chirp whisperings is with mutterings she launches away she flies away this line is showing that goldfinch spends her some time standing at laburnum she fills it completely with the chirpings and she comes with her family members with her young ones also and they fills it full completely with chirpings it means the laburnum which was leading a monotonous life now gets new energy and new life also but after spending some time mysteriously softly with whistle whistle chirp means whenever she chirps na whenever goldfinch chirps it looks as if she is whistling and by creating chirping which looks like which seems like whistle she launches away she flies away from one place to another place and what happens after the departure of goldfinch the laburnum launches so it subsides empty what is subsides remains and after the departure of goldfinch laburnum remains alone 
Dear students, one more thing. What is quality device here? Transfer epithet. What is transfer epithet? It is a quality device which gives which give complete information about an event or like a incident or person also. But it is a different meaning from its real meaning. Okay? A quality device where the real meaning is different from it, its exact meaning which has been shown in the poem. Okay? It, it is related to some new like it is can be a description, it can be an event also. What is transfer epithet? When the quality of one thing is transferred to another. When the quality of one thing is transferred to another. In the last line, we can see here in the line, her barred face. Her barred face. It means having stripes on her face. Her barred face. Do you know what? What is it? Her barred face. In these words, we can see there is pointed device transfer epithet. It means the quality of one thing has been transferred to another. As we know, Lebanon top has beautiful flowers and goldfish comes there and she stands behind the flowers. And because of the shadow of the flowers, the shadow of the flowers fall on the face of Lebanon. It looks she has put on a mask. That is the meaning of barred face and which looks like a mask or we can say persona. I am telling you once again, Goldfin comes and stands behind the flower of Lebanon and as, we, as I told you, Lebanon is with, uh, yellow flowers also and because of the flowers, because of the shade or shadow of the flowers which falls on Lebanon, on Goldfin, it looks as if she has we, she is wearing a mask or she has put on a mask. Okay? That is the example of transfer epithet where the quality of one thing is transferred to another. It can be event like description also, anything also. But the real meaning is different from the meaning which has been exposed to you. The real meaning is different from the meaning which has been exposed Okay students, I think you understand this poem. It has already been completed. I will send you all the questions. And next class, in next class we will come with next form or next chapter. Till then, thank you and stay safe. Thank you.